up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. In our last video, we made theater seating using craft foam. And now I totally think we need a room to put these in. So this is the plan. Sorry, it's not the best drawing, but we have some chairs in the front. And then there's a little platform with seating in the back. I'm thinking curtains along the wall and a removable sidewall. If we follow that plan, we will need to add another seat to the back row. But first, let's cut the walls. I have two pieces of black foam board. I need to make sure my room will be able to be stored on my cube bookshelf. So the room can be no more than 13 and a half inches across and 13 inches tall. And I can do 14 and a half inches back. So I cut a 13 inches wide piece of foam board, giving myself a half inch of wiggle room. And I went 13 and a quarter inches deep. This will be the floor of our theater. Cut more foam board. This is 13 by six inches. I glue two inch strips underneath to make a platform. And we're gonna glue that onto the back of the floor. I place the chairs in front of the platform, measure the space on the side. Looks like I have about three inches. So I cut a one and a half by three inch rectangle and a one by three inch rectangle and two small rectangles to go on the sides. Glue them together to make a small platform. And we're gonna glue it onto the side for a step. I think it's a little high. I'm gonna try to cut it down a little. There we go. And now we can glue it onto the side. I remove the seats, then use a hot pink felt to cover the floor. I'm gluing it down with hot glue and pulling it over the edges to add pink carpet to the floor. Sometimes the theater carpet is really busy and wild. So I wanna add the Barbie stone pattern. It's my absolute favorite right now. I am totally crazy about it. So yeah, you might see it everywhere. Right now I'm cutting a lighter pink felt to make a stone shape and I glue it onto the felt. I'm using the base color as well. And this is a good way to hide my seams from piecing the felt together. Now my little stone walkway is complete. I didn't worry about covering the areas where I'm going to place the chairs. Plus I thought it might make it a little unstable. I cut black foam board for the side walls. I glue one onto the side and I'm going to leave the other side wall freestanding. But I think I wanna add a little wallpaper to them. I know it's a lot of pink, but we are making a Barbie the movie theater, so let's go all out. I only have a few pieces of this paper and it measures eight and a half by 11 inches. So we're gonna have to get creative to make it stretch. I glue a piece onto the center of the wall. Then I glue fabric onto the sides. So it looks like drapes and you can't tell we didn't have enough paper. I did the same thing for the wall that we already glued on. I cut another piece of black foam board and glue it to the back wall. I have these little plastic tops that came on a bottle of hair oil. I'm gonna take a balloon light. I bought this on Amazon and it fits right inside of the cap. I glue the cap to the wall, making sure not to glue down the small light. So we can remove it to turn it on and then place it back inside for a little theater lighting. And if you don't wanna use real lights, you can always just add a button or beads on top. I added another light to the removable wall. So when it's on the side, we get a nice little glow in our theater. Let's bring in our chairs. And I'm deciding not to add the fourth chair just because there really isn't enough space and I don't wanna cover up my walkway. Let's add the bottom row. And we have a small little pink theater, but we need a way to help this removable wall stand up. So let's flip it around, make a mark at the bottom of the stairs, 
cut leftover foam board into strips. I cut one that is five and a half by two inches, cause that is how much space I have to work with. I cut a three by two inch rectangle, two more five and a half by two inch rectangles, a top and two shelves. Let's take this one away for right now, cause that's the base and glue these together. Add the shelves, the top, and the other side. I add strips of foil paper around the outer edge. All right, so that's gonna be like our little mini fridge. I glue it onto the base, make a few slanted shelves on the side, then close them in. I cut foam board for the countertop. I cover it with glossy black contact paper, then glue it on top. I printed our drive-in movie theater printable and cut out the marquee and glue it onto foam board. I take the removable wall, flip it over to the other side, cover it with paper. I leave the area that will be behind the counter black, then glue on the counter, place our little marquee above it. And of course, you could just go with the menu instead. At the movie theater, I took a picture of the Barbie the movie poster, printed it out on photo paper, glue it onto foam board, add a little foil paper around the edge for a frame, then glue it to the side. And now we can stand the wall up and the counter adds support. So we can move it around however we want. And when it's time to put it away, we can just set it on the side of the room, making sure the counter is on the carpet. I'm going to place this Chelsea popcorn machine on the counter, along with some Barbie popcorn. We can add candy from mini brands to the shelves. I use a little poster putty on the back to hold them in place. Add drinks inside the silver area to make a little snack bar for the theater. Place the wall next to the seats so the dolls can grab a snack, then walk around the corner to find their seat. In our very pink, Barbie the Movie Inspired Theater. Now, if pink is not your color, this is our fourth movie theater. We made this one 10 years ago. We made one inspired by Monster High nine years ago, and we even did a drive-in movie theater. So hopefully there is something for everyone. And to me, this one feels kind of like a fancy home theater that plays nothing but Barbie movies all day long. Oh, and Summer in Cali. I know, I know, I have to finish the story, but we will have to save that for another time. Thank you for joining us while we made a movie theater inspired by Barbie the movie. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my Froggy Stuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!